Jürgen Klinsmann has stepped down after just over 70 days in charge at his Bundesliga return club, Hertha Berlin. Um, this news came as a big shock to the coaching staff, to Michael Preetz, the sporting director. Um, but it appears that Jürgen Klinsmann certainly felt that there was a breakdown in trust between himself mm. and certain other various assets at the club, which is preventing him from doing his job. Well, f for me, it has to be one of two things. It's either a problem with the sporting director or it's a problem with his coaching staff. Uh, and on the coaching staff side of it, you know, when you're, when you're the head coach, when you're in charge, you get your staff together and you discuss everything, tactics, training, who should play, who shouldn't play. And the ideal scenario is everybody gives a top as well and then the head coach decides what they do. And then as soon as they walk out of that office, everybody's on the same page. Everybody's following, singing for the same hymn sheet, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes, it doesn't happen often, but sometimes you have certain coaches who will go off and take a player to the side and say, look, listen, basically don't, don't listen to what he's on about. This is what you should need. So that's, that is one scenario. That is possible. You know, if the coaching staff are not behind him and not, not passing his message on, then you've got no chance. Now, the other one is a sporting director. You know, they have made some signings recently. A lot of money. A lot of money. In the winter window, which sort of seems to say that, that they were on the same page, no? Well, the, what we don't know is, does Jürgen Klinsmann want any of these guys? So if you're going to spend all this money on these, on these players in particular, you ain't, you ain't spending that money at Hertha Berlin for them to sit on the bench. If Jürgen Klinsmann does not trust these players, does not like them, doesn't think they fit into his system, then what's the point? You know, if he said to the sporting director, I don't want any of these guys, or I'll have one, and then all of a sudden he turns up and they're all there, that, that would, to me, suggest that he's going to say, well, okay, I told him I didn't want them, and the reason I didn't want them are valid reasons. They don't fit into my system, or I don't actually believe that they're good enough. And so, when you're coaching a team, the one thing you have to do is believe in your players and believe that they're going to actually go on the field and do a job. So before you start and you know they can't do it and they're not going to do it, you're done. The, the nature of how it happened sort of seems to say a lot as well, doesn't it? Uh, you know, announced on a personal Facebook page that I'm doing this. It, it just seems That's to be, strange, he's, yes. he's caught everyone off guard and it appears that he, he feels confident that he can just step back onto the advisory board, mm. which is where he was first positioned by Lars Windhorst, the, the, well, not majority owner, but the largest shareholder at the club. Yeah. And, and so it seems like there's a massive sort of... Uh, clique going on here or, or a division between ownership well, it's and... it's a battle of wills, isn't it? Yeah. It's a battle of wills. And uh, young Klins Klinsman ain't no shrinking violet. You know, uh, when he decides something, that's it. And he decided he'd had enough and he went about it the way he wanted to. And of course, his relationship with the, the, with the majority shareholder, in my opinion, is the reason why he's still there. Because he will have told not just him, but the rest of the board that what the problem was, I'm suggesting it was to do with the sporting director more than anything. And so then he can now walk towards getting somewhere that's going to benefit Hertha Berlin. If he just walks away, comes back to the US and goes on holiday again, he's not going to have any influence on what happens at Hertha Berlin. Right. But if he's on the board, then guess what? He's now above the sporting director. Well, of course, this is a team that's fighting relegation. It seems to have caused a rift with Preetz, the sporting director who's been there for a decade. So uh, this is a long-standing issue that's been brought up. And again, 70-odd days in charge, Jürgen Klinsmann's Bundesliga return turns into a nightmare. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.